Hi everybody, it's Julie and today I just want to play. So we are going to be making some embellishments. I have surrounded myself with goodies to be able to use to make a variety of embellishments. I'm using the five day collab digital kit from Dear Julie Julie from 2021. So it's five day collab. So it's five pages of ephemera that I can use. And I have some things that I want to make. So, so this was day five and this was day two and this was day one. So day one, day two, day five, <laughs> day four, day three. Okay. And then I have an extra day five. Um, so, um, again, this was from a collab that I did with Kara Brandon. So she had five pages and you took day one of my page and day one of her page and put them together and built things. And it was really a lot of fun, but you've got some great bases here. You've got some great other cards. And so this time I'm just going to play with them and see what we can do with those. Remember, all of the Dear Julie Julie digitals are on sale for 50% off through um, next Tuesday. So that is, what, the 28th, I think, um, of November. This one is cardstock, which is uh, nice. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, so there, that is what I have to play with. And so I think to start off with, we'll go ahead and I'll cut this out. Okay, so they are all around me, all the little pieces. And we can go ahead and start. So I have these pieces right here. The first three that we started out with. These ones are pretty much ready to just be embellished. Maybe with some bling, fingernail polish or something like that. And added to something. And they will be good to go, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to grab this pile, and these are our sentiments, and the, okay, I'm going to go ahead, look through, and do that. Okay, so I'm thinking, Tom, the Windy Girl, maybe? Maybe that. Hmm, what if we... That could be a card in a pocket. That could be a wraparound pocket. Okay. Okay, so just... Okay. So, I really do like that. Now, the one thing I want to do with these is I'm going to go ahead. I want to go around them with the gold pen. Because that's one of the things I like to do. So, again, we're just playing. We're just making some embellishments. I'm using the... Five day collab, five day Christmas collab that was uh, me and Kara Brandon from a few, couple years ago, from 2021 actually. Okay, so just going around with my gold pen. Usually it only takes one, one uh, coat, but I think. 
think it might be time for a new pen. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so that gives me gold around that one. Um, I don't think I need gold around this one. Oh, I picked up the little, <laughs> picked up the Fisher Boy. Okay, I think we'll go around the Fisher Boy also. We call this the Tom card. I did uh, a little mini journal one year using Woodland Christmas, and it features what I call the Tom card, which is this one, and the Julie, which is another one, and the church from the Woodland Christmas. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I went to the where my tea bags are and also got a dryer sheet. Um, so I do have this little book. I'll show it to you at the end. And this was made using the Woodland Christmas um, digital. Okay, so let's see. We were going to put him on here she's going on there that's going on there okay i'm thinking i might want to do dryer sheet okay so we're just gonna pull some fluffy dryer sheet let's move we'll move them over okay so i want the fluffy side be what's showing. Okay, and then we can go ahead and stretch it. Might be able to get it to come off both sides. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> use my glue stick. That'll help me get that on there. Okay. And then put it on here. Okay, we'll go down. We'll line it up. So that's a coffee dyed um, dryer sheet. Okay, I like that. I like that very, very much. Now, the one thing that I think is, I love using the little tag that comes off. And I think we'll go ahead and come over to our pile and let's see what can we add we could add the little scarf i like that um could add a christmas wish maybe the small one let's see nope don't like that yeah i like the i like this so, like I said, I just want to play today. Um, <laughs> there's just so much going on. It's like, can I just play? Oh, and we can add the Christmas wish on there also. Okay, like that. And then Okay, now we have not done in a while any of the ribbon antique ribbon thingies. So, oh, you know what? We need to add this. Add something 
to the back. What do I have? What do I have? Okay, well, we could do this and it could have Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's... <sighs> it is um, an avocado dyed. <laughs> okay, do we want to add it to the black side? Right on the back. I kind of like this over here. Okay, so what we can do is put this on here. This is gonna work really good. And I'm gonna, I want that to go down for right now. Okay, we'll get the small side of the crocodile. And we'll go ahead and put two holes. Let's see, one, too. Okay. Um, I'm hoping the small is going to be okay. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I have on my desk here, I have fabric. I don't have any, I haven't brought out any ribbon yet. <laughs> I have this. It's not ribbon. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a paper clip on this to hold it together. Okay. So I'm going to put a paper clip on there. That'll hold it. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a little piece of washi tape. make an end here. <laughs> my my hands are cold and they don't work they don't work super well when they're when they're cold. It's like uh no, that's not what I want to do. I want to make like a little needle. Okay? Kind of like you would do at the end of your shoelace. Okay. Out of washi tape. Could do it out of scotch tape. And then I can go ahead and go through the hole, hopefully. Get through that hole. Pull it through. Okay. And I think we'll just do the tie on this. Okay, so we're bringing it through just because I, I did a small hole. So, um, I need it to be a little longer than the edge over here. Okay, so we're going to go back through the hole that we came in. And there are several antique ribbon closures that I found and I've done videos on them. They are really cool way to hold things. Okay. So there we go. We've just gone through and through and then we'll go ahead and cut it off. And that is how we're going to hold our little card together. Okay. Take our, wow. It flew. <laughs> okay, so again, this is from the five day, um, but you can also find it in the. Um, I'm looking for a large needle. Christmas in the woods digital. Remember, the digitals are all 50% off through next Tuesday. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and 
I'm going to let that go up. Like, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's let it, let it go. Oh, I've got, I've got it on the needle. That won't work. <laughs> okay. So I don't want it to. Christmas wish like that. Okay, we're going to tie this around. And I'm sure you can do this better. Um, <laughs> probably don't have the thumb issue and okay so this this can go ahead and it can come back and forth I like that I am going to go ahead and add a little more um, glue here to hold our dryer sheet down a little more and let's see oh he's a little Okay, and then we can put something down here and I do have like I do have some of the mini postcards so what can we put it's got the pretty bells pretty bells and <clears throat> and the basket okay I'm just going to go ahead and put glue on the whole thing. I'll put it underneath. Put the, the string across. Like so. Then add the bells on top. Like so. And there we've got this that can jingle dangle back and forth and if you think that you need it um I want it I want it shorter so I'm gonna go ahead and make it shorter okay there we go there we go and then the other thing that I would do is add my fingernail polish and I'm out of the Dollar Tree fingernail polish so we've been using this um, it's a very fine glittered fingernail polish that's very old from Mary Kay. And I'm just going to put it on the greenery. That's what I usually do because, you know, um, Holly is usually pretty, pretty shiny. And the fingernail polish, the shiny part will um, uh, also <laughs> is important because it it will also make wherever you put the fingernail polish will be shiny and Holly being a shiny um, floral or plant. I just think that's just that's just my preference. You guys have seen me do it for years. That I like to add my fingernail polish. And I'm going to set this right up here so it can dry. And that will be my first embellishment. <laughs> Yay! So I have a sweet little tag with the two dangles on it. This one won't dangle as much anymore because I've gone ahead and shortened it. And then this one, we're just going to wait for it to dry. And I think it turns out really fun. So we have a card that we can flip up. and You can make a list here. Like you could put your favorite movies. Or since it's um, Fisher Piano, you could put your favorite songs. and Or you could do both on that card. 
And I really like it because if this was to go in a pocket, um, you know, a pocket, let's fake a pocket. So it could go, um, you could put it so that this is on the outside of the pocket. I think it's really fun. So there you go. Our first little embellishment today. And so next I have a little heart. I have a little heart. It was just here. I'm just using things that I found in the box. And um, so let's see. So with the heart, I think it might be kind of fun to, well, we did Tom. And so this is the Julie card right here. This is the Julie card. And, but you know what? I like the deer. I think the deer might be kind of cool on here. So this is the deer. Also in both um, the Christmas Woodland or Woodland Christmas. And it you can also find it in um, the five day, obviously, because this, this is one of the embellishments from the five day. Okay. So got a little more of the dryer sheet. So have you used dryer sheets? Um, you know, you need to, if you are making and selling something, you need to make sure that they know that that's in there because there, um, there is fragrance or there, I mean, even if you don't smell it, somebody that's very sensitive to it might, might be able to smell it. Okay. So adding this on here and, oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Um, okay. I think I want to straighten that out. So I'm going to line it up with the line. Because for some reason it was bothering me. <laughs> okay. And then I have, I have some buttons. And I thought it would be fun to use some buttons today. And um, I do also have some great pieces of ribbons and things. Now, if I put this on here like this. Okay, I like that. Okay, a fabric tack. I'm going to use fabric tack for... Because this piece of ribbon, it's um, some vintage ribbon that I had. And it can go right down here. And that will hold it on there. Okay. And then I can add, I think it might be kind of cool to add a button. Maybe put a bow behind the button. I was thinking messy string, though, also might be kind of cool. But since we did do um, the red and white baker's twine for the other one, then we might go ahead. And just add that. Now that is going to be bulky. That will be bulky. What if we go with this? Maybe, maybe stick that under there. <laughs> We've got so many things. I've got, I've got so many things that I can use here. That might be kind of cool. Okay, I like that. And I, I do have a little piece. Okay, if I take this, put this on, figure out where I want it. And I have been I have been gluing them down also. Okay, um, I wonder if I can tie a bow 
I'm going to try. Okay, we're going to go through the second hole here and come in from the back. Okay. Like this. Okay, pull that off. Because it was probably, no matter what, is probably the last time I could use this one. So I have a couple of needles up there that have the leftover pieces after I've bound, done, you know, binding a journal. Okay, we're going to go ahead and double tie this on here. So that hopefully that will keep the button on. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and try and make a bow. And if I can't, then I'll just cut it off. And again, it's just because my fingers are so cold. And yesterday I was not feeling very creative. I just, it's like, I kept thinking, okay, I need to go. I've got so many videos I need to make. And I just, I just didn't have it. So, I was behind. <laughs> I am I am very behind. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut that off. Okay. So, and then um I'm going to put a little bit of glue behind, just behind it that hopefully will keep it where I want it instead of it deciding to go wherever it wants to. Okay. And then for this, I have two pieces of little Holly from the Christmas joy digital and I've fussy cut those out and I'm going to have those hang from this piece. Okay. I don't want them to go down too low just want them to be okay so yeah so the christmas joy kit has a full mini kit a whole kit of pages and ephemera that is holly and so I do have, do I have, yeah, I have some of the mini, mini journal page. Just to give you an idea that there are pages like this, side-by-side -side pages. That's a side-by-side -side page. That's a side-by-side -side page. And they do come in the full eight by, eight and a half by 11 or whatever it is that you, when you. Okay. There we go. Isn't that cute? So that's just going to hang down right there and be part of this. Now this could go onto a pocket or, um, or something. And I think that will be fun to have in my little thing of thing, thing of things. So that's going over there. So, um, I just saw that there was this piece of fabric here. I'm going to go ahead and there we go. Okay. So next we have this girl. Okay. And we're going to want to put her on here. And, but before we do that, she needs to be backed with something. And, um, it's not going to work. <laughs> What do I have over here that I can put behind her? One of my favorite things to use is um, for the back of these is ledger. So I will go ahead and add it to a piece of ledger.
I'm going to just add it to this corner down here. <laughs> okay. And that's going to give me a nice weight for my for my little journal card okay and as it dries um it'll get stiffer and even be more reinforced okay so i'm gonna go ahead and trim this down where i As I was not right up to the edge. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add her, and this time I'm just going to add her on. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put her so that the December 1st, 8th, 15th, and 22nd shows up. And um, you know what? I want to I want to put her on something. So I'm thinking if we come over here, we can add some of this red washi. This is um, from Dollar Tree. Okay, if I just come out a little bit, let me come down to the, down to there. Okay, so that can be behind it. And... Then we can go ahead and put this on. Okay, again, I want to keep that December down there. I want to have a little bit of this edge over here. These little, the lines, but now there'll be like little hash mark or tick marks over there. And so I really like that. And I like that we were able to keep the December down here. Okay. And then I think we'll go ahead and we'll add one of these and make like a tag topper for it. Um, I'm going to want to put something behind it. And I had saved a couple of... Um, oh, I kind of like that. What if we do, if we do that... It can come down. Nope, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my glue across right here. Actually, I'll put it on the, the whole thing. Trying to figure out which side was more straight. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm only putting it down on the one side. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here and cut this like that. Okay. And then this can come on and we'll just put it in the middle. And we've already glued this side down. Okay. Put glue on there. And then we'll just flip this up, give it a little glue along the edge, could leave it and have a little hidden journaling space there, but there you go. I, I really like that. Okay. Um, so we might want to go ahead and add a little something on here, or we can wait till this is in the journal. If this is a December daily, like right here might be a good spot or even down here for your, for the date. So, um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let it go with just that. Now we could, Ooh, I like that. Remember I started out wanting to use the, the fabric. Nah but I do like it. So very, very simple. 
and um, you've got this on the back. And so far, I am not um, distressing. I think I'll come down here and cut off that that line. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And so for our next one, we have the deer and this. Okay, so again, I think I'm going to use the the um um <laughs> ledger oh okay, yeah yeah okay let's go ahead and push this down a little so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue this on this is i um my printer doesn't it catches the paper late when I try to print on cardstock. So I stopped printing on cardstock. And this goes to like 30, but if I pull it up to 25, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it up. So we've got 25 on the back. Okay, I'm going to line it up with that line. So taking advantage of the fact that I'm using the ledger. Okay, then we'll cut it out. So again, you could do 25 things that you're, you're doing. Or 25 songs. 25 movies or 25 things you want to do in the month of December 25 people you sent Christmas cards to or you got Christmas cards from I mean all those things and you have your numbers back here okay okay so I'm going to go ahead to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and put some of the red right along here. Okay, so it's on that side and then I'm going to pull it over and it'll be on this side. Okay, then I have this, our deer. And I want to make a pocket out of these. So we're actually making a tag. Tag with a job is what we call it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mark that there right at the edge. I'm trying to mark it right at the edge and come down here. And mark it right at the edge down here. Actually, you could just turn it over and cut it, right? Okay. Because I'm making it so you can write on the other side, I didn't want to lose any of the writing space. So that's why I did that that way. Okay, so this is going to give us three, three tags and a little... Um, pocket. So I'm going to check this and make sure that I'm on the up and up, meaning that I have it in the right direction um, before I put the glue on it. Because if I don't check, it's probably wrong. <laughs> but when I do check, everything's good. So are you going to get to be crafting this weekend at all? Um, oh, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Let me know in the comments after the video. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? You can tell us here also if you're here at the premiere. Um, on Friday, I am planning to have a do the thing. So make sure that you do the thing. <laughs> so there will be a do the thing drawing on in Friday's video. We just won't be live because, 
Yeah. And hopefully I have videos for you for every day. If not, um, I hope you'll <laughs> bear with me because uh, it's, it's a lot. I've done videos every single day for like six or seven years, except for um, three days. So, I might be getting tired. <laughs> I might be tired today. Okay, so if we go ahead and then put this on, and then, but also go ahead and put this on because this is one of the, the things that I've been bringing in to this particular journal. I can go ahead and use my stapler, hopefully. Hopefully I can use my stapler, yes. Okay. And so I have the deer and it's the standing deer down here. I'm trying to think, you know what I have? I have the tag with the deer here. What if we put that on that? Okay. So I haven't decided yet whether um, this is going to be part of my journal or if I'm going to be putting this in a journal that I'm going to make. As I wanted to make a couple of journals that were um, very simply decorated so that um, you could decorate them yourselves. Okay, I like that. We'll just hang that, let that, hang, let that, let that be that. Okay. Okay, so that hangs. And then we'll be able to put, um, I think we had pulled out like this to go in here. And to make it a little bit better, we'll go ahead and around the corners. Okay, if I put it that way, you don't see any berries. But we'll put it this way. Okay, there we go. That gives us a tag with a job. Its job is to have a pocket that um, you can go ahead and put your uh, your journaling in. We can also make a list on the back of it, which will be fun. And we're just gonna go around and do the little corner on this one, okay? And we're going to want to do something there. And you know what? We, we have the kids playing in the snow. Steep five minutes. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see if we have some. Oh, you know what? We've got another little holly. I cut a whole bunch of these when, I, when we were driving. Um, yeah, we can do that. So we'll do the kids on the postcard. On the tea tag. And then we'll do the, the holly. And we'll use that to hopefully be able to cover most of the words. Okay, 
So our deer is hanging. Deer tag. Ha! Our deer tag. <laughs> it's hanging. And then we've got our deer out here watching. I think that that is really fun. So a deer tag, deers, deers, deer. And then we have the pocket. We have the ledger on the other side. Um, I haven't decided yet if I will be um, distressing. And so I'm going to wait um, to see what, because I have some journals that like have already started. And if I can use these to help finish them. That might just work really, really well. So I don't want to um, distress these and then have distressed them in the wrong color. So this could be like a little belly band. You could attach it here and attach it here and your card could go through it. So, yeah. so we did do four little goodies today. Um, there we go. I think that was fun using the um, collaboration kit from 2021. It's the five days of Christmas collaboration kit. And then um, I also used some items out of my stash. And just so you know, the, the collab kit, it goes with Christmas in the woods. Okay, so let me show you some of the other pictures. There's the lar a large Julie tag, some other tags. And you get the large calendar and a bunch of ephemera around it. You get a lot of different sizes. So you're going to have a set of wallets and a set of postcards and another set of postcards and another set of wallets. So you have the portrait wallets and the landscape wallets, okay? And that was a, <laughs> a page that came out wrong. You get the poinsettia, the natural poinsettia cards in this kit and some antique Santa. It's, it's a very big kit too. So there's the large Julie card and you get music then you get all three of these with the woodland background. These are the small tags. This is the mini journal kit. Okay, so that you, you know that you're going to have pages that are going to be like that. There's a postcard page. In a postcard page, you do get a collage page. Um, oh, there's where I cut out the church to do the large... Um, shaker card hopefully i'll find that and be able to show you guys that this sometime soon there's those um the natural poinsettia cards some more large tags you get um a snowy lace it's a grungy lace page side by side pages with the squirrel with the deer with the squirrel with the words the cool little um, place, the deer in the woods. I love that one. Okay, so you do get pages in this one. Okay, there's a mini journal kit page. Um, I think that is uh, it's a side by side that I've used. Yeah, this is my um, working my working box so there's a large tag okay so that's christmas in the woods and that is just part of it okay it's just what i haven't already used and then this is red christmas this is a huge kit and um so it has poinsettias and santa and it's very red and it's got pages and ephemera and large tags, large tags. Okay, so postcards, the wallet, the six pack, but this is before I used to turn the six pack upside down. 
so that you could make the thing. So side by side. And this is the mini journal kit. So you get side by side pages and then you also get them as a mini journal kit. Okay, another uh, wallet. Uh, that's the mini tags, but it's printed wrong. There is the tiny pieces. So if you like the tiny ephemera, it's got tiny ephemera. It's got ephemera around the calendar. This is more tiny ephemera. More tiny ephemera. Another tag that was printed wrong. <laughs> Another um, six pack, but not upside down because I, I wasn't doing that back then. Okay, side so uh, mini journal kit. Postcards. Whoa, I'm really sorry. Postcards. The collage page printed wrong. I still save them because I can use them for something. That's not my page. Um, that's the uh, mini postcards and your ephemera pages smaller and some of my pieces. And then there is the collage page. Okay, so that's Red Christmas. The other one was Christmas in the Woods. The one that I was using today that I showed you all the tiny pieces that I cut out of it, that was the five day Christmas collab. So if you like the five day Christmas club and you want pages to go with it, they are in the red Christmas and in Christmas in the woods. So remember, um, again, all the digitals are 50% off. This is a very special sale because it, um, the black Friday, cyber Monday, small business Saturday sale all fell along with my birthday sale. So instead of 40% off, which is usually the highest I go now, um, they are 50% off. So yeah, so I hope you check that out. Remember, there's over 150 digitals in the Dear Julie Julie um, Etsy shop. And they are just there waiting for you to choose the ones you want and enjoy. Okay, find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.